preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with... Welcome again to Seeing Through the Mist. We are towards the end of the book of Ecclesiastes. We're at the end of chapter 10, and only chapter 11 and 12 remain. Solomon is getting near the end of his journey, getting near the end of his teaching of, of how to look at life and to see behind the vapor, behind the illusion, to see what life really is. And, and as we've been looking at in the last chapter or so, he is now giving a number of proverbial statements just observations about life, observations about the world around you, letting you see that life is what it is, but there is something greater. And that is where he continues to take us as he instructs us on learning to see past the illusion that this life really is. And it, he started off, and you might remember, he started off by talking about all the things that he experimented with. And what he learned and what he learned was that all those things really weren't life and he continues looking at different aspects of life showing us how they don't satisfy so he does that today he does that today with these statements of proverbs beginning in ecclesiastes 10 verse 16 and he talks about well where you live the nation that you are in and how that can impact you or, or how those the leadership can impact you and we'll say some more about that in just a few moments let's begin at verse 16 of ecclesiastes 10. woe to you o land when your king is a child and your princes feast in the morning happy are you o land when your king is the son of nobility and your princes feast at the proper time for strength and not for drunkenness. Through sloth, the roof sinks in, and through indolence, the house leaks. Bread is made for laughter, and wine gladdens life, and money answers everything. Even in your thought, do not curse the king, nor in your bedroom curse the rich, for a bird of the air will carry your voice, or some ringed creature will tell the matter. Now, there is some hyperbole, some exaggeration in here, and, and some things that Solomon is saying in order to show us, well, how we need to be careful. He talks about two things, or a number of things, two things that come to my mind at first. One of the things is, who's ruling? Who's leading your nation? Who's leading your country? So if the person that's leading your country is childish, is foolish, it's going to be difficult to live life. If the person who's leading your country is, is wise and does things properly, then things will be a little bit better. But that's not the end. That's not all there is. Then he talks about your own responsibility. If you're lazy, your roof is going to fall in. If you're, if you're careless, your house is going to leak. Yes, bread is made for laughter and, and wine is... It gladdens life and money answers everything, but not really. Because those are just the illusions. He's shown us that. He's continuing to show us that. He's showing that all these things are what we think in this life. But ultimately, that's not what is true. That's not what is right. And so we need to be careful what we do. We need to be careful what we say. Because someone might hear. Because someone might take it back to those in authority, those in power. So be cautious with your words. We talked about words yesterday. Be careful with your words, but be careful with your life. And understand that whoever might be king sitting on the throne of your nation, whoever might be president, whoever might be your political leader, that's going to impact your life here. But remember, your life here is the illusion. Your life here is the vapor, the mist. So let's look through it. Let's look past it. And let's remember that Paul would tell us that as a child of God, our citizenship is in heaven. 
And that's where we learn to go. That's where we are bound for. That's where we are made for. So let's not get so focused and so entrapped by the things that go on in this life that it ruins this life for us. Oh yes, we'll have our ups and downs. But if we remember that this is just momentary, that this is preparing us for something much greater and we prepare our lives for that that's much greater. We can see past this. We can see through this mist. We can see who we are supposed to be and what we are supposed to do. Are we doing that? As we get to chapter 12, Solomon's going to start narrowing us in to that conclusion that we've talked about this whole time. And we'll see what he has to say. Thank you for joining us today. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the life that we live. And Father, in the United States, where, where we are, where many of us are, we know that we have a choice in who lead us, who leads us in our nation. And sometimes we are satisfied with our choice, our choices. Other times we are dissatisfied with our choices. And sometimes that depends on the individual and what we think is best for our nation. And Father, in the situation that our nation finds itself in now, with the pandemic, with the changes in immorality, with the changes in focus, Father, help us to, to see that as much as we might appreciate or as much as we might not appreciate the changes that are going on, as much as we see that some of them violate your will, they help us to realize that this place is not our home. And so we can live, we can survive, no matter who is on that physical seat of power. Because you are on the eternal throne and your son is ruling from on high. And Father, help us to remember that. Help us to see through this life and focus on the life that is to come in you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for allowing me to join you and you joining me as we see through the mist. I look forward to these. I hope you are as well. And until the next time we're together, my prayer is, well, as always, that God will bless your day.